Tonight, our month-long Hometown 2031 project continues. We turn to the second largest research park in the country, and it's right here in Huntsville. Cummings Research Park has a who's who of some of the best and biggest high-tech companies. There are hundreds of acres of undeveloped land, though, and it may be a tall order to complete the park. TechAlabama.com's Travis Leader looks at why Research Park may have a different look 16 years from now. Developers and city planners say there's an inconvenient truth when it comes to Cummings Research Park. They say without some changes, the park will not develop by 2031. So what needs to happen? The experts say the first step is to recognize the problem. There's 1.5 million square feet of available space in Cummings Research Park, but real estate experts say land isn't being purchased. But why? The city needs to open up on the restrictions. Randy Thomas, along with Kyle Collins, keep a close eye on Research Park at commercial real estate group Colliers International. They both want to play a role in the area's future development, but regulations limit developers to only build offices, laboratories, or research centers. They also can't build anything without the city knowing what businesses will occupy it. These are factors as to why some of the land is still empty. We have a significant vacancy in the park. Uh, overall, the park is about 78% occupied today. If we kind of continued on our same course without looking at how we're doing business, then you, you would be right to be skeptical. City of Huntsville urban and long-range planning manager Dennis Madsen says he agrees with the developers. New businesses just don't find this land, which ranges from $65,000 to nearly $100,000 an acre, very attractive. The first solution the planners and developers have is to develop areas where people can do three things. We need to establish within the park what we like to refer to as developers as live, work, and shop. This means creating walkways and bike paths, making the lakes a recreation center, and loosening restrictions to bring different businesses to the park. I think a lot of what might occur in there would be a little more town center oriented where folks from Research Park would be more comfortable walking or biking or taking a shorter trip. You know, it could be a coffee shop or a lunchtime restaurant or a breakfast place. Developers believe homes, apartments, or condos could thrive on the outskirts of the park. But young professionals and startup companies are trending toward a different office model. Colliers has gutted one of their properties on Bradford Drive to design a concept which allows for a more open environment. You walk into some of these older buildings and it's like a rat maze because there's a hundred offices all scattered about. Today is a different day. Money is being spent on areas of collaborative features more than office features. Madsen says he hopes regulatory changes happen within the next five years and if they do, he's optimistic about the park's future. I could see it actually being built out before then. Uh, I mean, 2031's 15 years away, so uh, that's a lot of time in the planning world. One existing building which may serve as a model for future development is the Hudson Alpha Institute for Biotechnology. Both planners and developers believe that this has been a wild success and they envision similar structures built for other research fields. For TechAlabama.com, I'm Travis Leader. Our Hometown 2031 project continues tomorrow on First News Morning with the future of Muscle Shoals, then at 5, the city of Russellville, and at 10, Tuscumbia and Sheffield.